Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany, often tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Um, I've done a few different reviews about this type of whiskey called Black Rock, batch number 10. So I've done reviews about batch 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, I think 5, um, 8, and 9 somehow I missed. And this is an Irish single malt whiskey, six years of age, single cask, single barrel, 57.2% ABV, bourbon cask matured, non-chilled filtered, no color added, bottle number 88 of 186, by the way. And this is product of Ireland. So the lady who actually um, imports this whiskey over to Germany, uh, Marika Spitzer is, not only a friend of mine, she's actually the sponsor of my Irish Whiskey News podcast. It's called Irish Whiskey News Deutschland podcast. Um, she is um, <laughs> Miss Irish Whiskey for me here in Germany. And she started this independent bottling label called Black Rock a few years ago. Oh, wow. How many years ago is this now? Uh, one second, one second. Batch number one was in the year 2016, so seven years ago. Um, she started this, and um, she was she is the importer. www irish minus whiskies e y s dot d e d e Deutschland Germany for Irish whiskies here, and she was so sick and tired of everyone telling her Irish whiskey is so soft, so smooth so triple distilled, so just not what we want in Germany. So she went out, to, um, went over to Ireland, talked to a few people and was able to procure a couple casks and she was able to bottle them at cask strength. So she said, single barrel, cask strength, bourbon matured, Irish whiskey is what I want. And so her very, very first one was a 10 year old um, with 57% ABV. Probably, probably cootie juice, could have been Bushmills. And um, ever since then, she's been going out there and finding new juice. Now, this is six years of age, so this is great northern juice. I did not ask her, but a little bit of the question I had in my brain, I might ask her after I do the video, is was this one of the barrels that you filled, that you were, you let them fill six years ago? So you bought the cask uh, with new make, and now you had to fill it up yourself, bottle it? Or was this something you purchased directly from Great Northern as a as a finished cask? Or the whiskey, the Celtic whiskey shop, they do most of that now. Now, Marika has great connections um, to John Teeling, so she gets privileged um, access sometimes to things other people would not get. I asked John, could I buy a cask? He said, no. But Marika, she buys casks. Yes, I like her. <laughs> like, Jason, go to Celtic whiskey shop. They do that for me. Like, all right, good John, no problem. Um, and so you can find on this channel um, one review of the Whiskey Live Dublin where I talked with Celtic Whiskey Shop about their cask program. And also in a, either now or a couple of weeks from now, I'm still redoing all the 50 plus videos I did from Whiskey Live Dublin. Um, there will be another up-to-date video here about the Celtic Whiskey Shop and um, their cask program that you can buy into there. So... This is Great Northern Juice. This is very, very nice. No whiskey base number. Now, this costs in Germany, and there's only 188 bottles, 70 euros, all right? So I am going to give a comparison to something. I looked in my, I do a lot of uh, bottle shares. I've done over 1,500 bottle shares already. That is a lot, but if you look at my YouTube channel and see I have over 5,000 videos in German and over 3,000 videos in English, well, the bottles had to come from someplace, right? And so this was a bottle I have not done a review about yet, but this I bought an auction and I paid uh, 78 euros for this. This is a 13 year old Irish single malt whiskey and cast strength, 60%. So it was, it was distilled um, 2001. I actually have for this a whiskey base number, um, 133816. And I can just recommend if you can ever go online and find an auction site, a independently bottled 12 year old plus single cast cast strength Irish whiskey 
There are not, not that many people hunting them, but they can be so delicious. All right, so there's nine people that voted for this so far, has 86 points by Whiskey Base. Um, I would actually give it even a higher score, all right? I really, really adore good old um, single malt and cast strength from Ireland. So Great Northern, Coolie Juice, all right? So 70 euros, 78 euros. Six years, more than double that age, 13. So we have here 57.2, here we have 60%. It's exactly 60%. So it's really the question that they diluted down a little bit to get a couple more barrels. Um, it was cast number 9787. Who knows? All right, let's nose these and let's try them and let's review them. All right, I get a little bit of a... It's still a, a tad green, a tad young. I get a lot of malt, I get a little bit of barley sugar, I get some nice little spicy oak. I get a little bit of a toasted marshmallow, actually. I'm getting peach cobbler. Now, um, some people get more of a tropical, fruity moment here. I'm going to get peach cobbler, and that's going to follow me all along. And it's more like a whole grain peach cobbler, which I've never had. All right, so, but imagine a whole grain peach cobbler. And there's a little bit of a burn of the alcohol there. All right, going over here instead. Ah, Jason, happy. Now, um, Mareike, who brought this bottle over here to Germany, or the Antara Barrel, with 188 bo 186 bottles, um, good friend of mine, I'm not doing her favor by comparing this to this. But I was, as I started off before I digressed, I have a list, an Excel sheet of all those thousand some barrels, uh, barrels, thousands of bottles that I've done bottle shares with. And I was looking for something that was Irish and that was cast strength and from bourbon. Now, this is a, it's called a bourbon hogshead, but still. And um, this was the first thing that popped up that I still have a bottle, a little bit of left here. And that's the reason why I chose this. From the value for money, yeah, of course. And a good auction find is hard to beat, really, I know. So I'm probably the person who bought it back then, paid, I don't know, probably 69 euros. I bought it for 78. He's happy, well, I guess he's not. He, after waiting, what was this? This was 2015, so yeah, eight years later, he gets the same amount of money he may be paid for, and the rest goes to the auction site. They always take, usually take 10% from the seller, from the buyer. A little bit of graham cracker. It's nice. It's a solid C. All right. So no whiskey base um, number. It's so fresh. So uh, um, brand new that we don't have a whiskey base number yet. 188, 186 bottles. Cheers. Hmm. If it's too strong, you're too weak. That's the case for me. Um, that 57.2% is just a little bit, wow, um, hot. And one of the official um, tasting notes here is they, they call it um, apricot cake, tropical fruits, rose um, leaf, roasted wood, and some pepper. And anyone who has the the guts to put pepper as a tasting note, you know that it's going to be a little bit of a hot, spicy moment there. I'm actually getting a tiny little barrel char. Um, on the nose, I could have, um, it wrote down here, it said grilled ananas. Um, ananas is, pa is pineapple, I'm sorry. Grilled pineapple, vanilla creme brulee, uh, roasted wood, and some very ripe grapes. Yeah, it's a seed whiskey. All right, it's not nothing to write home about, nothing that I'm going to go, wow. It's a good, solid whiskey. The price, 70 euros, mm, going to be a C minus. Now, if, I, if I'm honest, it's a C minus whiskey without water, but with water. Mm. Mm. 
This whiskey, somewhere between 48 and 52% is where it shines. It turns into a sea whiskey. It's got a little bit of that tropical, I'm going to still call it peach cobbler moment. Peaches aren't that tropical, but they are over here in Germany. We don't grow peaches usually. Um, it's got a good thickness, non-chilled filtered, has a nice color. Everything about this whiskey is good, but almost everything about this whiskey says, hey, wait till this is a 12-year-old product. This is going to be fantastic. And that's what I'm getting here. And I really enjoy at the moment my journey that I get to experiment and get to experience the development of Great Northern uh, Distillery, how they started off and three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old, now six-year-old product on the market. And you get to actually just go along with the journey and, and just, just enjoy that development and see where they are. Other people are like, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait till they bring out the 10-year-old. I'm going to wait until they bring out the 12-year-old. Then I can enjoy it. Why should I? I've, I have so many whiskey bottles here that I need to empty anyways. Why am I going to go on a journey and go from the three, go to the four, five, well, six, oh, almost, and then and you keep on waiting till it's there where it should and could be. And that's a whiskey where it's going in a very, very good direction. And I, I thoroughly enjoy the Black Rock series. She also has something called Fairy Casks, Marika Spitzer from irish-whiskies.de, um, which are um, finished products, also cast strength usually. And she now just started Ladies of Arms, which I think, if I understood correctly, is pot still whiskey. Ooh. All right. So, um, going over here to the AD, AD Rattree, 13-year-old single, Irish single malt. Oh, it gets even better. I get, I get raspberries on the nose now. Oh, this is good stuff. I, yeah. Cheers. Does it really say number of bottles 100? Wow, this is so good. Oh, wow. I really must have been a um, partial cask um, bottling. Um, oh, that's so good. For me, it's always a little bit of that lime moment in the background with older Irish single malts. Um, I would gladly pay 80 euros for another bottle of this. This is so, so good. If this develops in something that good, wow. Very, very nice. All right, question of the day. What is your favorite cast strength Irish whiskey? Jason, it's easy. It's Redbreast, 12-year-old cast strength, because I don't know any other cast strength whiskeys out there. Well, that might be our problem, isn't it, sometimes? Now, Dunville sometimes do limited single barrel releases. Um, here, Kilowin sometimes do limited um, releases of cast strength. But not many people are doing cast strength whiskey at all in Ireland. Now, prove me wrong. I know we have the Causeways collections as well. Thank you very much. Uh, Miss Huland and now Alex, who's continuing this great tradition. But um, I think we, I think we need more cast strength Irish whiskey. What about you? All right. So we have it in Germany. We have it at auction sometimes. Some independent bottlers are doing it, but I think we need more. All right, whiskey, Jason. Here, whiskey from the viewpoint of American over here in Germany, tasting excellent cast strength Irish whiskey. B minus. And here, a standard average C whiskey. Value for money, C minus. But that's life at the moment. All the best. See you soon. Whiskey Jason. Bye-bye.